Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Vieran and today I want to talk about the next Battle Pass Premium Pass rewards and what rewards I would like to see. Also, make sure you drop your suggestions in the comments below. Whether you disagree or agree, it's up to you guys. You're allowed your own opinion. But anyway, let's start. I don't want the video to be too long, but we'll see what happens. So, if we look at the latest Battle Pass, which was Draconic Rage, you will see the premium rewards on the bottom and then these are the free rewards i'm not going to go over the free rewards because that's what they are they are free you cannot complain even though i kind of complained about this blue collar here but for good reason there was no reason why they couldn't put purple collar here considering they're about 30k but as a lot of people said when the draconic rage launched they were about up over 100k so it makes sense from when it launched anyway First of all, a lot of people said you can't ask for a legendary collar because of the price. Now, just remember that the premium pass and the rewards, the rewards are supposed to be more than what the premium pass cost. So if the premium pass is 2,500, what is that? What's that, about 2 million? Sorry guys, I'm not, I am not gonna do math. I think it's close to 2 million, maybe 1.85 million or something like that. That's how much the premium pass is. Therefore, I was told that I can't ask for a legendary collar because they're like four to five mil. They're only that expensive because of the greater shard drop rate. Now you can get the greater shards from Reaper's uh, tokens. However, they are bound accounts so you can't sell them. Maybe Cryptic need to make them unbound so the market can get flooded a bit because the collars are not worth four to five million for a legendary. And then for a mythic, I think it's an extra 10 million on top of that or something like that. It's something around that. However, they don't provide enough for the price to be worth it. And this is the issue with a play control market. So am I going to ask for a legendary collar? Yes, because Cryptic want this premium pass to sell. It makes them money and it costs them no money in putting these rewards here. Or if it did cost money, it's very minimalistic. So a legendary collar in one of the parts, just just one legendary collar. You don't have to put five. Just one would entice a lot of people to buy this thing. The issue that Cryptic have is a lot of the players already have Zen, and they've done that from AD, which is why Cryptic lose money. Um, just get rid of the exchange. I think that's the only thing Crypto can do. Will they do it? Probably not, because I think a lot of people that have all that Zen saved up, I think the game, that's why the game is enjoyable for them, because they don't have to worry about anything. So if they were to lose their way of getting Zen, they might just leave the game entirely. So Crypto removing the exchange might help a lot, but it'll also cripple the game a lot as well. But for the Premium Pass, Legendary Caller, Choice Pack, is definitely one of the top things I'd like to see and it would also mean that I will buy that battle pass. So I also believe we haven't had it, we haven't had one yet, but I also believe there should be one mythic insignia choice pack. And you might disagree, you might agree with that. But legendary insignias, even though they help out the smaller people, they're not that expensive. I know it's not about how much AD is in the battle pass, but the thing is with premium passes, you're gonna wanna put more uh, costly in-game items in there in order to entice people to spend money and buy that premium pass. So I think a Mythic Insignia Choice Pack would be awesome. I think Legendary Insignias, you can put them in there also just to help the newer people, but the Mythic Insignias would help so many more people. Next, legendary mount pack. Again, this is fine. Do I think you can add a mythic uh, mount pack? No, but I'm gonna get into that in just a second, so bear with me. But the legendary mount pack should include every single legendary mount in the game because people might want a swarm, people might want a toad, people might want the legendary deep crow. Just just for cosmetics maybe or maybe for the power or maybe you know it's just something like that they should have access to 
every single legendary mount in the game through a choice pack and i think that would help a lot of people also because these mounts in this pack pretty ridiculous now why didn't i think they should add a mythic choice pack well it's simple i think the mythic mount that should be in one of these parts should be unique kind of like the lion that we got not for this one the one before we got a lion let's have a look here we go we got this dude and he is unique in his own way he's got his own power and everything he's mythic and i just think that was a really awesome thing for cryptic can do um, they made a mount just for the premium pass and I think that's what they need to do again they need to make a mount just for the premium pass don't include it in any aspect of the game because that would entice people to buy that premium pass what you could do maybe to make more money is if someone misses the premium pass you could add on to the Zen market old battle pass premium passes and that would give them all the rewards that maybe they've missed out on maybe they're a new player and there's a reward that they missed maybe you can add that to the zen market where they can get every single one of the old rewards and also it increases cryptic's income as well but that is always an option for them to do again will they do it i don't know i don't even think they watch these videos but it is what it is now tokens my opinion 25 tokens is fine on the free path I think on premium it should be 75 i've said this before and i am going to stick to it that should be 75 tokens now for an epic insignia choice back on the free i think that's fine a legendary on the premium i think that's fine as well i'm just saying add one mythic insignia choice pack it would be awesome now you've got mount tokens here you got mount tokens here and then you've only got companion tokens there. Again, premium on the premium path, it should be 75. Enchanted keys, I am not going to argue with that. Um, some people like enchanted keys, some people don't. I happen to like them. That's why I bought 250 on them. Yeah. Inventory space, everyone needs inventory space, so I'm not going to complain about that. Obviously, if your inventory is full on all your characters, you might complain at this, but... It helps so many other people. It's not always about one person. Legendary companion choice pack. Again, it's it's a really good thing. And the variety in builds right now, because some people are using the Mystagog and some people are using the Ironstone, and they are uh, kind of keeping up with each other. So I do like the variety. You can either choose a fighter companion or you can go the stats um, way and use an augment so the variety right now is absolutely awesome in terms of this legendary companion choice pack i do believe there needs to be more in there albert could maybe already at legendary or maybe on the premium pass they could be mythic i don't know i might be asking for too much there but i feel like maybe putting the golden companions in here would be nice if you bring that pack back and yeah, put them in the premium pass, you can get the golden cat, which I know a lot of people want. Um, but that is two million on the auction house, or you can just throw it in here. Legendary choice pack on the free um, line is fine. I have no complaints with that. Hay fever is starting to kick my butt here. Jesus. Okay, I better hurry this video along because I'm going to start sneezing in a second. Companion equipment choice pack. This is a really good thing. However, I do feel that if this does get added to... You know what? I feel there needs to be new companion equipment. Um, I feel like they should be legendary now. It's kind of been left in the dark. They've been purple for so long. I feel like we should get some double offense, double defense, um, legendary companion equipment. I think that would be awesome if they, if the first chance of us seeing it was in the premium pass can you imagine how many people will buy that especially if they were double offense double defense for the tanks for the dps whatever you use yeah i think upgrading the companion equipment or giving us the ability to upgrade it would be would be awesome somehow maybe introducing new tokens or whatever yeah 
So here, trade bars. Trade bars, everyone needs trade bars because of all the scrolls we're using in Dragons. But I feel like giving us 500 is a good balance for the premium pass. Um, Enchanted keys again, can't complain. Artifacts for the premium. I feel like these should be unique as well. I feel like this should make new artifacts just for the premium pass. And again, if people miss this premium pass, maybe they can add the premium pass rewards onto the Zen market. Um, yeah, I, I still think that's a good plan. But anyway, I feel like the artifacts should be unique, but they should also keep up in the current meta. Because we have so many useless artifacts at the minute, and it's kind of stupid. It's the same with gear. We've got so much gear that it's just useless. It's kind of annoying. And then we got a rank 3 enchantment, enchantment choice pack. Rank This is legendary. Rank 3 is purple. So I don't know whether it comes out legendary or it comes out epic. I'm not sure. But rank 3 is actually epic. So, yeah. I, I, I'm not going to complain with a rank 3 enchantment. It's a, it's a decent amount of AD and it's a decent reward. However, you can get a rank 1 for 100k rank 3 yeah it, it's good it's good i'm happy with the rank 3 do i think it should be rank 4 no i think that's asking for too much i think rank 3 is a decent balance and i think in the free aisle rank 2 is also decent but let me know what you think down in the comments below do you have any suggestions do you agree or disagree with me we also need reroll tokens yes give us all them reroll tokens we need them um, I kind of wish they gave us more tiers. Obviously, I haven't progressed just because it, to me, it's not worth it. Uh, this battle pass was a huge disappointment in my eyes. So it's not worth me ranking this battle pass up at all. But that's just my opinion on it. If they made it worth it, maybe put more tiers on there, more rewards, get everyone playing, get everyone logging on. Um, but yeah, I think... If these things were added to the premium pass, a lot more would sell. Because if they add these awful rewards again, I will not be buying it. And I'm sure a lot of people won't be buying it also. It is what it is. You either make it worth it or the customer isn't going to purchase it. And it, it's as simple as that. But leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. If you want to make your way back to the channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.